Hi everyone, my name is Khan and today we will be taking a look at two cool effects. One of them is going to be Anarchy, the other one is going to be Light. Both effects are available at modernmagicians.com, the links are in the description box below. And also before we start, I managed to get a pretty cool deal for you guys. If you purchase one of the effects from modernmagicians.com in the next 10 days, you will get a free Penguin Magic marked deck. If you know what I'm talking about, you know how cool it is. So if you're interested, make sure to check out the links in the description box below. But now let's get started with the review. So guys, that was my performance of Anarchy, let's talk about it. It comes like this, no packaging whatsoever, it is just this box of playing cards. Also, the link to the instructional video is on the flap, so if you get it, you know what to look for, right? It is on the flap, very difficult to spot if you don't know about it. Now, the instructional video is very well made. It is shot very well, everything is explained very well. You are basically being taught two versions of the effect. One of them, which is the main effect where you have the normal triumph, ending with the pack of playing cards in new deck order and their selected card at the right position, right? That's a trick that has been performed in the trailer. But you also get to learn a simpler version, which is just a standard triumph where all the cards are mixed up, facing down, facing up, and then they just look in the same orientation except for one card, their selection. So it is a triumph without the feature of having all the cards in the right order, right? The first version, which is like the bigger version, needs a little bit more setup and a little more skill, I'd say, but still totally doable, pretty, pretty cool. The only thing that I wish was made a little better with the instructions is, in my opinion, they talk a little less about the handling of the cards. I can't really go into in-depth explanation to prevent any reveals, but they could have talked about the handling of the pack a little more in detail so that you did not have to experiment with it on your own. But still, not a very, very big deal. Just a little minor thing. When it comes to the pack of playing cards, you get it in red. I'm not sure if it is also available in blue. It looks like a standard bicycle deck, but it is the maiden deck as far as I know. So looks pretty similar to it, but no one will notice it and no one will care about it. The deck is like standard bicycle quality, so nothing to complain about it. It is a fully gimmick pack of playing cards, which again means that you need to switch it for an indifferent pack after you have performed it. Performance-wise, as I've said at the beginning, it is not very difficult to perform. It is very, very visual, and after you have like practiced it for a while, you will be able to perform a pretty cool triumph effect that you won't really regret having in your repertoire. The cards, of course, cannot be examined, at least one part of the pack can't be examined. Some of the cards you can hand out for examination if you wish to do so. Also, there is no really angle sensitivity going on. There is just a minor part that you have to take care of, but it is really not something that you really have to worry about at all. Very, very small thing. So I'd probably say it's not very angle sensitive. The reset time is going to take you a little time, maybe 20 to 30 seconds, and you have to do it on your own so you can't really reset it in front of your spectators. All in all, I think that Anarchy is a pretty cool triumph effect. The question that you have to ask for yourself is if you really need a triumph effect like with a fully gimmick pack of playing cards or if you wish to do it impromptu with a standard pack of playing cards. All in all, the gimmicks are very well made. You won't really have any difficulties using it. That's it. My thoughts on Anarchy. Let's jump into Light. So guys, this is Light. Light is basically an effect where you have a shuffle pack of playing cards. 
From the shuffled pack, you have the spectator touch any card that can be signed. Once the card has been remembered, it is going to be shuffled into the pack. And after the shuffle, you introduce a light bulb to your audience. The light bulb is then screwed into the card case, creating a very interesting look. And then you start tapping the cards from the pack one by one on the light bulb. When you touch the cards on it, nothing will happen until you reach to the card selected by the spectator. The moment it touches the light bulb, it starts to flash, notifying your spectators that something is happening. Now you can show that the remaining cards don't activate the light bulb either. And then at the end, you have your great reveal with the isolated card lighting the light bulb was in fact their selection. So it is a pretty cool visual plot and comes in this packaging. Inside you will get the link to the instructional video and of course your gimmicks. You also get a light bulb with it. So no worries about that. You don't have to buy it on your own. In the explanations, Michael is basically teaching you how everything works. He has a French version and English version. It is not very difficult to keep track of what he's saying. You learn everything that you have to know to be able to perform the effect. You learn two effects. One of them is the main effect and then you get a bonus effect with it where you get to see the light bulb flash a little more visually, let me say it that way. All in all, not much to complain about the instructions. When it comes to the gimmick, let me say that the light bulb uh, is not gimmicked. The actual gimmick you get is really not something that has been created like specifically for this effect. Actually, it is a gimmick that has been in use for quite some time now. It has just been a little more modified, so it fits this effect perfectly. But I would really consider the effect created around an already existing gimmick. So whether this is something good or bad is really something that you have to judge for yourself. But in my opinion, it is still a very creative use of an already existing gimmick. The trick itself is pretty simple to perform. It of course needs practice a little, but really not much sleight of hand going on with this effect. You have full control of the bulb, like when it is going to flash. So don't worry about having issues with timing because it really depends on you. It of course can be performed with any pack of playing cards. It is a trick that is a little angle sensitive, but then again, not angle sensitive in terms of not being able to manage it. It is pretty manageable. A pretty cool thing about this effect is that everything is examinable, meaning you can give out the cards out for examination, the card case, the light bulb. There is nothing to find. You will end up perfectly clean. This might be something that some of you will be surprised about. Besides the main effect that you get with this, you can really come up with your own stuff with this effect. Just imagine the combination of using light with a mark deck. So make sure to check out our giveaway. I was talking about at the beginning. So you can really create some pretty, pretty cool stuff with the gimmick supplied with this effect. So all in all, light is a pretty visual, simple to perform effect. In my opinion, not a very unique method behind it as it was already created before, but definitely a very creative use of it. So if you like what you heard about it, make sure to check it out. So guys, these were basically my reviews of light and anarchy. You can get them from the links in the description box below. I really hope you enjoyed the video. That's it. I hope to see you next time.